not done there. Good. It's good to hear. Before we get into today's video, I appreciate y'all if y'all like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow my IG. Appreciate y'all. So today's video is about why I got into cars. One moment, y'all. Today's video is about why I got into cars and all that. So let's take it back five years, right? Before I move back to Connecticut. Think of a young, a young man still in high school not knowing what he wants to do with his life, right? Think about that. That young man was me. I was about 16 years old when I moved back to Florida with my mother. Again, worst mistake of my life. I should never have gone. But then again, my stepmother that I was living with or foster mother, she was no better. I was getting kicked out the house all the time for uh, for stupid stuff. So we took it there. I moved back in with my mother. It was good for the first probably year. Then my grandmother died. God rest her soul. And then it just went terrible. I wasn't as close to my mother. Uh, so we started getting distant. She started yelling at me for stupid stuff. I kept getting kicked out. I probably got kicked out four or, four or five times my entire life living with her. Or the five years that I lived with her. I was about 16 at that time, so yeah, yeah, because I moved down there when I, it was 2017. Move, move down there. Hmm. So let me take y'all through the timeline, all right? Uh... So the first time we were living in these apartment complexes and these apartment complexes were like in the middle of nowhere. It was like no stores or anything. It's a, such an odd place to have apartment com apartment complexes. But yeah, we were living there. And at that time, my mother had a boyfriend <laughs> Let's just see. He wasn't too fond of me. So me and her, me and uh, her boyfriend always get into fights, arguments, and I ended up getting kicked out. And I would usually, I wouldn't let myself be bothered by getting into an argument somebody s such as him because he he's low come on now but at the time i'm with i'm living with my younger brother and i had a uncle who i believe had autism so it's like i had to do what i had to do in the end, I got kicked out. She agreed with it. But then again, they had to let me come back in the house because I was still a minor. Because I, 
again at the time I was 16 so they had to let me back in so I stayed distant I don't I didn't talk to anybody any of them and then my mother came out of nowhere and was like you have to respect him <laughs> okay no not doing that and she's giving him multiple chances dude stole from her but i was still in the wrong i had to respect him no i couldn't do that to get respect you gotta earn it <laughs> and, and he was not earning my respect at all fast forward we get kicked out the apartment complexes and we're in a hotel and he's still there you already know how that turned out I got kicked out again but again they had to let me back in I'm getting kicked out over stupid stuff if you growing up I was a quiet kid I didn't talk to anybody unless I was spoken to. I don't have problems with anybody unless they give me a reason to. So they're just doing this for no reason. And that I'm I'm protecting myself. I I know how to fight, so it wasn't a problem. Fast forward. Uh, probably year and a half later. She leaves him. We're in another hotel. Yeah. So at this time, we're in another part of Florida and I believe she didn't have a job. So I don't know how she was getting money. She probably had dudes on the side. I don't know. But we were living there for a little bit. And at this time, I was 17. And I wasn't going to school. Like, I'll probably say for a year and a half, I, I didn't go to school at all. Which is the main reason why I didn't get my, I didn't graduate from high school till 2021. So last year, yeah. So we was living there until she couldn't afford to live there. I couldn't get a job because at that time I didn't have an ID or my, um, social security card so there was that problem and social security cards cost money yeah okay now we're going fast forward about a couple months in she gets this boyfriend, all right? No, couple years, or like maybe a year later, she gets this boyfriend, all right? Cause at this time she's working at a Pollo Tropicals, it's something like that. She's working there. At the time we're living 
I think we were living with people. Oh yeah, we were. God bless them. Um, we were living there. She got another boyfriend from her job, I believe. And um, he had a problem with me too, so. But eventually we got kicked out from the people's place that we were living with and went to a hotel. I say this is a 2020. Yeah, 2020. We were in a hotel and this is like beginning. We lived there for like, I'll probably see a month. A couple, no, like two months. No, wait, January, February. Because I believe March is when COVID really hit the uh, US. When COVID hit, we left out a uh, hotel, moved in with his mother. She didn't like me either. I don't know why. Um, yeah, and then I got threatened to get kicked out when I didn't do anything. And at this time, I was trying to get a job, but I couldn't because I didn't have any ID or social security card. So even if I wanted to get a job, I couldn't get a job. And I didn't even have my birth certificate at this time. I had no type of, no type of papers of saying that like, I'm from here. Or yeah. Cause again, I was born in Florida, but I was raised in New Orleans. Where was I at? Oh yeah, they threatened to kick me out. For some reason, I can't remember why. But at that time, I was just in the room and uh, yeah, I was in the room and um, I had my TV in there and my Xbox, so I was just, in there the whole time. I didn't, I didn't say nothing. I, I greeted them, hi, how are you? Went about my day. Then they just got upset at me. Who knows why? Fast forward a couple weeks, we get kicked out of there. We're back at the motel. We're, we're at another motel. And yeah, we're at another motel. So uh, we were we were putting our stuff in. Did all that. It was smooth for a couple weeks. Then they found the apartment. Yeah, it was like a month later, they found a, a apartment. And um, We were living there, I was about 17. I think, I believe so. No, cause we moved there. We moved there in 2021. So I was 19. Yeah, I was 19. Cause we moved in the beginning of the year. I finally got my 
birth certificate, social security, and um, my ID. Yep. Finally got that done. Cause I got my ID when when my uh my younger brother had came and visited me from New Orleans or came and visit us because at the time it was me, my mom, her boyfriend, and my brother and my sister. At this time my uncle had moved back to the Philippines. So he came down to visit us and that's when I got my ID. We spent a smooth two hours in the at the DMV, which wasn't bad. It, it was actually moving pretty fast. So there's that. Then fast forward, he goes back home. I finally find a job at um at this restaurant. It's a bus or Copeland. I was getting paid thirteen an hour plus tips. Which was good for me because the checks were bi-weekly, so I was making at least eight hundred a week. Or eight hundred bi-weekly. And it'll grow the more I work. I got a check for a thousand one time. So there was that. Then she started asking for a uh, two hundred a month. I was like, okay. And then she just randomly changed the dates of when I have to pay her, which made no sense. Because at this time, I believe she was some type of housekeeper at a hospital. She was getting paid more than me. And that's the thing. Living there, I noticed that she had an alcoholic problem. She used to drink Crown Royal when I first moved there. And then once, like, like two years later, she turned to straight vodka. Which is why I'm not too fond of, like, heavy drinking. I don't, it's just not me. So, where was I at in the story? Oh yeah, she was asking for two hundred dollars a month. I was like, cool. I don't. I didn't really care. Then I realized I'm getting used for my money because she's not even using the two hundred dollars that I'm giving her for rent or anything she's using it for liquor bro i'm getting used and me and my sister knew that so i'm pretty sure my younger brother knew that not the one from new orleans but the younger one he's about 12 right now We're at that part. Uh, then it was one time I got I got kicked out the house because I had just came back from work. It was about 11. Yeah, about 11, 12 maybe. Then I got back to the house and I was taking my my uniform off, because at the time we had to wear a tie, a white button up with some dress pants. Oh, I took those off, man. Sat down for a minute. And here comes her boyfriend walk, walking up in the room. Yo, you need to uh, wash some dishes. Yo, you need to clean this room. I said, okay, I'll do it in a minute. He said, no, you need to do it now. I, again, I said, I'll do it in a minute because I'm like dead tired. 
if you ever worked in a restaurant from morning to night you will understand i was dead tired i need to make myself have the energy to do it again then he was like i don't care if you just got off of work you need to do these dishes and clean the room at this time i took a deep breath i was like okay i understand that let me get a minute to recollect myself Then he got loud. I'm no pushover. I got loud back. I said, yo, I'm going to get this done in a minute. Give me a couple minutes. I just got into the house. You're bugging right now. And then at this point, my mother wakes up. Up because she's always hung over and drunk she comes in yelling at me you need to respect him this that and this I'm like he came in here bothering me I was gonna do this either way but no he couldn't wait so at this time I'm heated I'm cursing dude out, calling him every word in the book. Dude wanted to fight me, bro. I got kicked out, basically. I took all my stuff, got kicked out. Smooth homeless for a couple days. Then they felt bad. Oh, and let me mention he kept saying, you think that $200 is doing something? It's doing something for your liquor addiction, your beer addiction. Come on now. And I smooth said, if you don't need the 200, why are you asking it? For, why are you asking me for it every month? If you don't need it. Which, they make no sense. They let me back in the house because they, cause they knew they needed the 200 a month. But that's... At that time, I just needed something to like... Refocus myself. So I was just on YouTube, found, I found the, uh, no, one of my homeboys showed me this YouTube channel called Eliminate. I watched a lot of their videos. I'm pretty sure I watched all of their videos. I was just binging it. I was like, yo, oh, this is. This is cool. This is tough. I like this. And I'm like exploring different cars, looking at different cars drift, hearing different cars engines. I'm like, I like this. I want to do something with this. So I got into it. I'm doing more research. I might go to school for it, but that's why I want to build my channel around this. <clears throat> Cause I know this is something I can enjoy. I just, I found it fun. <sighs> Fast forward probably like two months later. 
I got kicked out. So I <clears throat> I just moved back to Connecticut. Um, at this time, it was September. I took a flight to Connecticut. And at this time, I was already talking to one of my boys about moving down here. We were supposed to get an apartment. Imagine how that went. He kept coming up with excuses. At this time, I gave him like a good $400 for the, um, for the, uh, what was it called? My bad, y'all. For the deposit, for the deposit. I gave him a smooth $400 for the deposit. Then dude texts me talking about some, I'm getting deported. Cause there's a, what's the code was it? Expired. It ex he said it expired that same day. Now I know, I'm no expert on this, but I'm pretty sure it, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. If I'm wrong, let me know. Dude completely disappeared. Stop texting me. I said, cool, right? So at this time I'm homeless again for like two weeks, maybe a week or a week or so. Um, I am smoothly homeless right now. And I know mad people in Connecticut, but they still live with their people is because my group ranges from about 17 to 19. I'm, I'm the oldest out of everybody. Then thank God for my boy Miguel, who whose mother helped me find this crib. My rent's six hundred a month, but I pay one fifty every week. I'm like, it's a blessing. I'm getting help, which is wild. Right now, it's, it's smooth right now. I'm working, got a job, got a roof over my head. Started this channel. But that's the reason why I got into cars. I didn't tell this story so y'all could feel bad for me. I told this story because... I want y'all to understand that what I went through and what I overcame, you feel me? I believe I've gotten stronger as a person. Man, I'm about to make myself cry. But that's why my first video, or not my first video, but my my video from like two weeks ago, I was like, I don't got family like that. Of course, I got my sister, my brothers, but my mother, nah. And I don't know my real pop, so there's that. <sighs> that's, the, that's the end of that story. Let me stop before I get emotional. <sighs> On that note, let's talk about the new website. Simply Living, it's about to have a new website. That's what it looks like. We dropping merch in about a month or two. 
so I hope y'all enjoyed that. And on that note, I appreciate y'all. Like and subscribe. Turn post notifications on. Follow me on IG. And again, keep simply living. Peace.